that um pe people didn't realize is gone is I really oh, miss God. uh like the backflip animation on uh Ike's back, like when he's doing a, a, like a jumping jump backer. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because like it was so much easier to bait people with a retreating backer. All right, so, oh, we got an interest? Yeah. All right, loses finals. Ooh, is, that Gren is that Greninja? Yeah. Is that Venia? Is Venia playing for someone right now? I was nah. gonna say, like, I see the color. Oh, he actually is going. Oh, hold on one second. <laughs> yeah. Now you gotta switch to the, the icons, Devin. All right. Greninja. And CTN throwing a little bit of a, throwing us off for a loop, switching off of the top tier Wi-Fi Lord Zelda into Greninja. But Greninja is still such a good character, zone breaker, get a get in, really kind of shut down a lot of numbers uh, retreating offense. But we saw the way numbers did against uh, BB earlier, where he was starting to slow it down to like control the pace with the chakram in particular. Like, uh, I wonder how Zero to None's gonna navigate that. Uh, he's oh, not going to. A, he's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. It's like see what he'll. How he? How can he deal with it? Is what I would say. He's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now deal with three more of these, because he got three stocks to take. Oh, I'm missing his uh, follow-ups right there off that nair. Very tough to land. My God, like, so he may have missed the last two hits, but if you go back and look at that, numbers read about five options in a row. He just missed two of them. Like, oh. <laughs> like it, they, he's he was really picking apart a lot of the aggressive approach uh, from Zero to None there. So let's see if Zero to None can mix it up a little bit. There we go. Get to catch him with a fair on the aggressive option. Good on Zero to None on the break of that back right there. He's got a find a way to get in again to land the... Okay, nice forward there. That's all you need to do, just get that... <laughs> jump straight in with that land forward air. Unfortunately, he fell out of the back air. That could probably lead to uh, a decent ledge trap if you beat, like, say, B reverse the Shuriken, go back in with a Hydro Pump. Dig in deep, too. Deep, deep backers. A good on zero to none to run away from numbers, uh, tornado, tornado right there. Yeah. Might be, and not be too aggressive in this situation. Yeah, it, it just leads to so much trouble. I, I really like, it. also really like the short hop down airs for numbers, bringing that in from what we saw before with VB. Uh, it just covers neutral, it covers the spot dodge. If you fade away with it, it covers roll. Or <laughs> you get clapped because he's going to get caught uh, with the anti air F smash. Anti air F smash, name of the game right there. I like how ZTN has kind of been using like the single hit shurikens to like the oh, not the single hit the, the short charge ones as a check to the chakram because like last thing you want to do is get like exactly like right there and you don't want to get caught by the, the multi hit on chakram otherwise like, uh, numbers gonna get a free setup. Oh really? Oh Hilarious. I like it. He's he's a full stock up. Like there's no point not to like commit to that right there. Yeah, he's in the numbers stock so fast I couldn't even like have time to realize how he set that situation up for him. Yeah, kind of similar to before. I think it was a dash attack into um, canceled back air, and it just just going for the second one. Of course, we got Devin looking out. Yep, dash attack. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I see it now. That was pretty good. Very good execution there by Zero to None to take that first game. Let's see how numbers is gonna play around this part. Gonna go to for a Weefa change, maybe. And my bro. My brain's hurting just watching Greninja sometimes. Like, like <laughs> the, the, you you are always in a mix-up against Greninja. Like, at all times. Like, oh, you, yeah. you are playing a guessing game, uh, like, so often, whatever you have to do with the dash attacks or down tilts. And, uh, like, that that's just frustrating, especially with the... Like, the, the Wi-Fi connection looks pretty good uh, from everything. But, like, you have to pre-anticipate a reaction uh, by comparison to offline. So, that, that was a really good setup. Yeah, so for Greninja, uh, I feel like that character is very good at a lot of hit and run. Mm -hmm. Which is what uh, Zero to None was doing against numbers. So you just like get get in there and then like, just run away. And he's like, "All right, I got the hit." All right, you're just cool. Tyson, bro. He's a boxing champ. Like you can, <laughs> you always have to respect him, like at all times. Because he's still fast, and it's just like, oh god. Is that, it, it goes off what you said before, how you're always in a mix-up. So when the character hits you, you're just like, "All right, what is he gonna hit me with next?" Mm -hmm. I better not do the wrong thing, or I'm gonna like eat a smash attack. <laughs> You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like whenever I play um, Dragon Ball Fighters or something like Marvel. Like you, you, you all like you think it's your turn against Greninja, but it's not. Uh, yeah. It's like you just get by, you get hit by that one two H. You're like, oh, I guess it wasn't my turn. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. Look, if you got hit by the two H, why are you super dashing so much? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's on you. But right, we get it. We get it. The next game here, numbers get a switch over to uh, the We Fit trainer. Gonna go for a bit of uh, like a much bigger projectile. Slow down the linear approach. Force a lot more jumps out of zero to none. Yeah. I think in you know, a way, zero to none's trying to force uh, the We Fit change. Just so he can go for the Zelda change, because I feel like he'll probably have a better time doing the Zelda matchup, or maybe he's just staying with the Greninja just to see if he can prove he can beat numbers with Greninja today. I can agree on both accounts though, because like you have you have matchup advantage uh, with the set count if you happen to go up to two, or even if you happen to go one one here, it's like all right, the Greninja didn't work, but I was able to still get the first game. <laughs> oh, <dang. It's> like... <laughs> Where are you going? Dang it. Sucks. <laughs> uh, that sucked. That was good. <laughs> he got yeah, quiet. Was good for numbers, though. Good for numbers. That was like, oh man. I said we were talking about the the mixes before, but if you happen to air dodge right there, no, right there, primed and ready to go. Yeah. And numbers with a lead is one of the hardest players to like be in this game. Like, uh, period. Hard like, here. Especially yeah. when he's in, like, when he's doing really good at controlling the way that you're going at him. Because, like, Numbers is not going to give it to you. He's just not going to let you easily take a stock or mm -hmm. catch him. Because you're going to at least lose a lot of percentage or another stock if Numbers gets bleed. Whoa. Wait. Wait. What, what to say? Oh, it's my God. That fast. He just started the game. <laughs> <laughs> Almost reversing the edge guard. That's another thing. You got you can't fall asleep on Numbers uh, off stage if you try to overcommit. He's always trying to bait you to go off there. Like, the second stock, he put the volleyball at the ledge trying to, like, just almost like, hey, look over here. Little bait and switch. Oh, man. And there you go. Actually, look, kind of looked like he low profiled. Maybe it was a little bit away, but it looked like a force smash actually low profiled him underneath the F tilt there. I, I know. So I'm pretty sure he was right next to him. Yeah, I noticed that happened before too with a uh, like jab or forward tilt. He tried to hit the engine, but they're just like literally standing right next to him and he's just like, all right, so let's whiff. <laughs> Good job getting that tech right there. Like it, zero to none is doing his best, best job at trying to get this back to even. Like you have, you have to get one of these early stage spikes or cat make, make numbers, make a mistake. Yeah, like losing like RPS with numbers right here is not good looks for, or you're like at 118 and the numbers can take like one good hit to kill you, especially with deep ring. That was a good counter. Yeah, I like the substitute right there. Oh, I don't so much like the down air in front of numbers, but. Oh. Uh, trying to go for substitute again and not gonna get hit by the back hit of forwarder, so luckily not getting spiked in that situation. One good hit from numbers could take the stock right now. Zero to none has to be very careful as to how he takes the stock. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's the recovery. Looked like he was trying to navigate away from the incoming down air because you saw he put it out. He's already a stock up, so it doesn't hurt to put the down air out and ended up screwing up his recovery, so. Good job by numbers there too. That was a two-stock yeah. answer. Okay. <laughs> no oh god, numbers. Is he okay? <laughs> the fourth commentator. He, he bonked. He bonked. He bonked. All right. <laughs> so it's one-one right now. We could see a, zero, a Zelda switch from zero to none, or the commit to the Greninja, from what I mentioned earlier. Um, I think if we see Greninja, it would be this game and nothing past that, probably. But like, I, I'm get the feeling with the way that that game two went we're probably going to see the switches uh to the zelda it's not like his greninja's been looking bad it's just that uh, like the way that numbers played against the greninja in that second game like it, he was just playing so on point like he really controlled a lot of the routes that he was trying to take especially because he almost reversed edge guard him like three times that that's stress inducing yeah uh, those stocks that i felt like that numbers took from um zero to none in game two were kind of felt like more player mistakes than character mistakes. So seeing the Greninja again wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad in this situation. Yeah, like it, it's, it, it would be good to be able to deal with that post game. He's, we're going to see the Zelda. Okay, so he's switching over to Zelda. Yeah. Um, doesn't have to worry about fighting off stage. Like it's just, it's not what you want to do. Like it, it, at best now, what you're going to be able to do is you throw out your your Nehru's love or you put the Phantom in the way of the volleys so you don't have to worry so much about numbers fight, uh, forcing you into bad spots. Yeah, and Phantom easily blocks the salute of the sun too. So True, numbers yeah, just tank the hit. So numbers would have a hard time outzoning Zelda in a sense. 
we'll see how it goes. We'll see how numbers uh, places his buttons with. He's trying to oh going for these roll in uh up tilt anti airs is pretty good. Yeah, just kept putting him out there too because he was directly above him. It's like alright, if I'm not committing too hard. If he air dodges, then I just catch him. If he drifts away, I could dash attack at him. Good bounce back on his... Oh, that just barely Ooh. missed a sweet spot. Oh, that would have been a stock. Again, it continues to impress me whenever I watch Jokes another way that he... Like, the aggro play he does with Zelda. I know Zelda's got a lot... Like, a lot of buffs recently, but... It's still so difficult to pull off consistently with, like... The way that the character's toolkit works. Oh, almost oh, just knocked up. away. That was... Close. Yeah, that... I don't say unfortunate too often, but that one was a little bit unfortunate. It kind of bounced off the volley. Yeah, it could have been a stock. In the low volley, Ooh, speaking of that, nice. all the way at the bottom. The numbers is the professional scout sniper, I swear. Like, he, like in another life, he probably like was a sniper in his past life. He's, yeah, he's playing like, the like, Warzone is out right now, and he's <laughs> not playing that. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think I would spend a lot of joyous time watching Numbers play <laughs> Warzone on his stream. <laughs> like, like, I would not be surprised if I see Numbers good at FPS games. Like, he's just, I'm just saying, like, he's really good at getting those. Yeah, very accurate his positioning. Oh, uh, uh, that time a little bit ill-advised on the, like, trying to go throw out the neutral B to, just to prevent him from jumping out at him. He has been pretty aggro, so maybe it was an option coverage idea. But as you're to see him through it, get to get the stock on the reflection. Yeah, good as you're to recognize the angle there and hit the neutral B just to kill numbers with that uh, reflected volley. Yep. I know it's a soccer ball, Zumi, but I always say volley just because. He's smacking it. I mean, she's smacking it. It's still like a... Uh... Like, like, like a spike move you see in a volleyball game, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's serving it up all to me. Yeah. Oh, out there with the ledge shenanigans with the, with the knight yeah. and the neutral B? That was crazy. Yeah, so as you know, Tano was trying to get the two frame with that down air as well. The, like, well, actually not the two frame, just on the re-grab, but... Numbers, it, it's just going in, just trying to frame trap it, consistently reading Ooh. all these landings. Not gonna get the down smash though, but like, it doesn't really matter, you got... Oh. Set on that, yeah. Big smash is gonna close it. That's a two-one lead for Numbers here in losers finals. Yeah, good on Numbers to recognize those preemptive neutral bees from uh, zero to none, just to punish accordingly when zero to none whiffed them in his face. That happened like twice in this game, and I, I guess that was like the worst time to go for right there because he's just gonna lose the stock if he missed up right there. Like, exactly. Yeah, like you commit like, on a like a laggy option like that. It's you see the ref, you see the volley, but at the same time. Numbers positioned it perfectly with the cancel to bait him to go for that. So Numbers really controlled that entire last stock. Let's see if oh. he switches over to Greninja or stays with the Zelda. But um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised like... if we see a, maybe a stage pick, uh, stage switch. Mm, okay, yeah, I feel like this is what Zero is on like one X is Zelda. I feel like it has a good time against Wii Fit since uh, Zelda's uh, zoning options are a little bit better than Wii Fit's. But mm -hmm. I guess that, that game didn't work out too well for for zero to none. So yeah, Maybe no, that, that, that one was that one was really rough just because like every every time zero to none went off stage and like kind of played in numbers face, numbers immediately responded with aggro play himself to shut it back down so he could go back to the same bait and switch that he was doing with zoning because the numbers is not really committing to full fledged zoning with sun salutation or the volley. He's just making. Zero to none, commit to the reflector in all those positions. Mm. Here's that stage switch we were talking about. Getting the quick charge in, we gotta watch out for numbers. This is B, B, B over here, just trying to. Can that reflect the 37? Good stuff. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take the damage where you can get it. It's hard to yeah. come by, especially like we've said before, numbers with a lead is one of the hardest players to fight against. Yeah. Good on third one. Zelda with the lead too is also difficult to fight against because committing to approach when you have that type of setup when you have Phantom and uh, Zelda staring at you at the ledge, that, that's so hard to fight. Ooh, the chase. Yeah. That was also good on Zero to notice like numbers like put on the uh, breathing mm -hmm. and just like stalled real quick with the night pull. I also just... really like the adjustments with the di uh, Din's Fire that stock. Like that's not something you can use often. What super aggressive defensive option. Like it's such a weird thing to say, but just jumped right at him, committing to spot dodge afterwards, kind of faking the idea you could grab me here. 
Yeah, it's double CG trying to run away from her, that she can just pull out that Din Fire. Din's Fire to chase you real quick just to see she can snipe you back. Like, oh, no, you're not running away from me. <laughs> exactly. And, and it's non-committal. Like, the, you, you don't really want to commit too much. And going for the double Nehru's love, very smart right there, because he, like, he saw that Numbers was definitely trying to bait out that first one. Oh! Right to the mic. Numbers look very scary right there. That two fun, really? No, no actually, uh, so num uh, I, I was wondering if you were going to see through that. Like, he... he was going for a regrab, so at that point it's like okay, he's probably oh, yeah, gonna okay. hold down and go up and number spot dodge right at the time and punish him for it. So okay. that was that was a good adjustment on numbers realizing he was gonna go for that. I feel like if you're from, uh, if you play as Zeno at all, if you're not used to somebody being aggro off ledge like that because you, you got to play Dill at some point, I don't, oh, think, <laughs> I don't think that you belong in the brackets. But everybody's seen that a thousand times, so that that was a good idea, but. Uh, played around by numbers, but speaking of all that though, look at this nice lead that ZTN has in this. Like, I'm really liking this switch, stage switch. The numbers doesn't have nearly as much room to run away uh, or commit to like the baits that he was doing, and zero to none has really been able to capitalize on that. Zero to none also like with the stage and all is able to stall whatever numbers has a uh, deep breathing to avoid getting uh, hit by the shenanigans that character has with damage. Oh, and that up kill. Yeah, going in aggressive that time, going right at him. And you had the you had the phantom coming in too, so I couldn't really tell if that shield poked or not. But that, that was a uh, that's gonna lead to the next stock. We're looking at what could be maybe a game five. Like Z ZTN is playing much better in this game four here. Yeah, nice still on the recovery there. So the numbers has to wait a bit for ZTN to come back on. Ooh, uh, misses, misses the sun salutation though, cause the roll. Yeah, definitely had the right idea, but like just slightly out of position. And that could have, I don't think that was going to kill, but at least it would have kept the ledge guard going. Yeah. By the way, it was good for numbers because numbers like healed a little bit. Yeah, numbers just playing the game, just like staying at the ledge. Almost getting bounced into the Phantom. That would have been good damage, but. You see how ZTN just kind of just staying in center stage, not really trying to go in too much. But yeah. now he's at the ledge. Okay, I'm trying to go for the grab that time. Numbers has been going for a lot of like anti air jumps in particular. Kind of like right there. Ooh, anti air right there. Yeah, ZTN did a, a good job of uh, playing the like playing numbers game with him. Yeah. After the quarantine, not we should ban all <laughs> Wi-Fi players. <laughs> only. Oh up, my god. That stuff has been working all day for ZTN, but Numbers is recognized and rolled right through it. Yeah, Numbers did a really good job of recognizing that quickly, too. Because, like, in that position right there, if you guessed wrong, you get you roll into the match, but he realized ZTN was just a little bit too far forward. That's just the night right there to take him off stage. Set up. Oh. Good roll from numbers. numbers yeah, we saw that earlier. He did a good job against, I think it was Apollo, where he forced him to neutral get up after getting the previous roll. That's but we're going cool. to game five. Okay, game five. ZTN's bringing it back. Yeah, ZTN went a great adjustment. I think that the uh, the stage pick in particular was a big change for that. Much less room for uh, numbers to work with, uh, much smaller zone, and like it made the dense fires and such like a lot better uh, for ZTN. So. Really like the changes in that game for. Yeah, he was definitely fighting numbers on his own game right there with uh, uh, the sun salutation and the and the header being thrown out at him. He was just like blocking it or at least reflecting it at the right time just to avoid whatever damage numbers was trying to build up. Yeah, and that's like when you're playing both of these characters' concepts uh, in a nutshell are very similar. Like you want to you're using these big projectiles, whether it be sun salutation or the phantom, to get, like get people stressed out. <laughs> get them to approach too often and punish them accordingly. Uh, so it's on who can control the pace better. But <laughs> when it's on a stage like Smashville, you oh, can't yeah. do it too much. So it depends on who has the better boxing game. It was definitely ZTN right there. Now, we're, as we're heading into game five, I don't see we're going to see... I don't think we're going to see any character switches. Uh, I don't think so, so either. Yeah, so I it's going to be... Like a, Only because the uh, numbers will go uh, Swordfighter. He went Swordfighter game one and in anticipation to fight Zelda. 
So, oh. so, okay, so like you, so him, a sword fighter for Zelda. Okay. Him winning game three gave him counter pick advantage for game five. So now he has counter pick advantage. So, uh, numbers will know what character ZTN is gonna go, whether it, it whether he actually wants to go Greninja again. Uh, but if he knows he's gonna stick to Zelda, numbers might pull out. And there it is. Yep. Mm. Yeah, good, great, great, great pickup on that on Devin, uh, Devin, because I completely forgot about the, yes, sir. the fact that he had character advantage, and now we're gonna see the me sword fighter that we saw before. Yeah, Devin, Devin knows numbers more than me. I don't miss. He don't miss. <laughs> he don't miss. He's please fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, so with the red fighter in play for numbers, let's see how he fights uh, against the phantom over here. Oh uh, yeah, here we go. So this is something we saw earlier out of Apollo a bit, where he was getting a hold of uh, when ZTN wanted to go for day resolve a little early or be aggro on landing. So numbers was scouting that out quickly, but ZTN still uh, he's been able to answer with most of the reflecting hits. I actually like that. Like in bad position, just teleport out of there. Oh uh, yeah, it's a good option for Zelda to have. Like at a disadvantage, you can use that teleport to get away from some. If the character's not fast enough to catch it, it's really good too. Yeah, it's, it, there's never a wrong time to reset neutral if you're in a bad spot. It's like, if you can do it safely, do it. Also, recognizing the use of ZTN's uh, Din's fire right here, because Din's fire, okay, yeah, you can sort of reflect or probably absorb it, but that was almost sick. Holy. All right. Oh my god, I, 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 like, I, I don't ever show bias but i kind of wanted that to finish yeah, <laughs> that, that was that, yeah i was i was like yo you better soft just... jab lock off down throw in, in a soft it, like it's a, <laughs> it's a what yeah, like <laughs> what were you doing <laughs> it's a bus ass but <laughs> that was sick. i yeah, am um... really really liking the way that ztn is like changing things up but you see numbers is also like it, it when things get out of hand he doesn't really let the leads get too far so like, let's see if he can do the same thing he did earlier uh, with the Mistar Fighter. Oh, he rolled with the speed. That yeah. early air dodge, I think he was anticipating that up, like that up B, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Using that back air, like Devin said before, kind of like Cloud's Beard, just kind of spacing with it, staying safe. Ooh, is that gonna? Okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm surprised. Right? Like, Hero yeah. spin's pretty strong, so like that was good DI from. Oh. A good DI in a dream from ZTN to stay alive. That's shocking. Ooh, nice use of the knight there. The knight actually, off. he did get the grab. The knight broke it. Oh yeah. Get off her. <laughs> don't touch her. Oh, the reflect on the knight. That's my I man's no now. <laughs> Mr. He's Steal like, your man. Oh, wait, oh, I can touch her. Oh, a B. Yes, sir. Yes, Devin. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, numbers <laughs> out here so, dropping the tier three sub to take the Phantom away from ZTN. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's mine now. Hey man, look, we living in a world where OnlyFans is the only interaction you're gonna be getting anytime soon, so you better drop them subs. What? Right. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Great time is drop the subs right in House of 3000 as we're in losers finals here, game number five. ZTN up two stocks to one. Uh, we'll I like the way we'll the numbers is looking, but. <laughs> We'll make a helper only only fans. Only phantoms. <laughs> only phantoms. <laughs> only phantoms. Oh god. Only you can help John Numbers win this zero to one. <laughs> Disable Phantom by subbing the house three thousand. We need your help. Oh, John Numbers is in grand finals right now. Lose this finals right now. <laughs> we just need the credit card number <laughs> with the security code on the back so you can take these. Oh my god, play. what was that reflect? That looked terrifying. It did. I, I was think like, if whatever was in the middle of that was probably gonna die. I think the knight got like, like super reflected, but it didn't hit. Oh, him. That was great option coverage from Zero to Nine. Numbers has to be careful being at the ledge too because he just missed it before. But yeah, yeah, you see, he went for it again. It, like it, ZTN has been throwing out these back airs uh, on ledge where he went for a grab or for like neutral get up. He's going to die. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh there we go. Not jumping nope. too early. Numbers got the situation right there. He's like, oh, you got hit by tornado. I'll just wait. <laughs> That really is the mix up sometimes. Like the, it, that you're in that hit animation for so long, you want to mash or dodge. Think they're going for all pair. And oh, then they didn't just stay down. <laughs> in her shield like that. I, bro. A little pissy toe. A little pick. Oh a little pop of the stick. 
Yo, what was the up. decent lead for ZTA to start to drift away? Like, 39 to 96 is still, like, a decent gap, but <laughs> numbers is closing in. Oh, yeah, uh, what I noticed... Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, so, stock one, so ZTA scary. was using a lot of boost fire in order to cover some good approaches. Mm -hmm. Hey, you see, yeah. like, numbers start to use the chakra to, like, do pretty much the same thing. He's kind of shutting down. <laughs> He's so aggressive, <laughs> just jumping right at Stop. numbers like that. You no. idiot. No. Committing, that finally. Oh, that was it. That was yeah, finally committing on shield. All right, guys. Oh, oh. All right, fourth time to the reaction. Oh, my lord. Back air. Oh. <laughs> uh... Did he slam something? Yeah. Sorry, this is just really frustrating. Oh, numbers. <laughs> I, did no. numbers mean to, did he did he mean did to do back air like he it. said or Oh god. Cuz that would make way more sense. But I mean oh. he did it so high. I don't know. I I went out for numbers, man. Like, that was a, that, that was, was a rough set. Bro, he yeah, was bringing it back hard. Oh, yeah, he man. was. Like, he was doing so good at that last stock right there. Really just kind of reading into a lot of, like, his commitments. Uh, but ZTN realizing, it's like, wait, hold up. I've been doing nothing but go in. I'm in center stage. I'm probably not going to die. 